Hi, I'm Carl Meadows. I'm a principal product manager here at Amazon Web Services. And today we're going to do a demo for Open Distro for Elasticsearch. Open Distro for Elasticsearch is an Apache 2.0 licensed distribution of Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch has been an essential technology for log analytics and search, fueled by the freedom open source provides to developers and organizations. Our goal is to ensure that open source innovation continues to thrive by providing a fully featured, 100% open source, community-driven distribution that makes it easy for everyone to use, collaborate, and contribute. Open Distro for Elasticsearch is built on top of the open source versions of Elasticsearch and Kibana and has added several new critical features like security, alerting, SQL support, and cluster diagnostics, making them free for anyone to contribute to use, modify, or redistribute as they see fit. One of the critical and foundational features that Open Distro for Elasticsearch offers is security. Open source Elasticsearch has no security layer, which means customers running their workloads on it need to go to some extreme lengths, like setting up proxies to secure their Elasticsearch clusters. On a fairly regular basis, we hear about private data being discovered on unsecured Elasticsearch clusters. And this lack of security layer in the open source version of Elasticsearch is why. With Open Distro for Elasticsearch, one of our goals is to make these types of news stories a thing of the past. Open Distro for Elasticsearch comes with built-in security, so you get out-of-the-box security features such as authentication via SAML, LDAP Active Directory, and OpenID, encryption in flight, and more. Ensuring your Elasticsearch environment is fully hardened and you can use it to run your compliance and security sensitive workloads. For the purpose of this demo, I'm logging into Kibana as a full administrator. This is the Kibana dashboard that all users of Open Distro for Elasticsearch will see. In this case, I have three different workloads running on my Elasticsearch cluster. Logs, sales data, and a security audit log, which you can see using the Discover tab here. Open Distro's Kibana dashboard also has a new feature for security that you can see when you log in as an administrator. As I mentioned earlier, Open Distro for Elasticsearch comes with security built in. So when you log in as an administrator, you have full access. You can configure roles-based access control. You can explicitly define what my users have access to. And by default, the users don't have permissions. You can set up an internal database with your users. Then there's role-based access control, which comes out of the box with several roles such as Kibana user, snapshot administrator, et cetera, that make it easy for users to get started and set their cluster permissions. For the purpose of this demo, I've created two roles. One of those roles is called ops role, which as I mentioned, logs is one of the use cases on this platform. Using this ops role, I can configure what cluster permissions the ops manager has using the cluster permissions tab. At the same time, I can provide them with access to the logs indexes using the index permissions tab. In this case, I've specified the index pattern and given them unlimited access to just those indexes. With Open Distro, you also get the ability to do document level and field level security, which allows you to have granular control over, for example, what documents the users have permissions to. You also have the ability to create tenants, which in this case I have as ops managers. So when you log in as the ops role, you will only be able to see things in that tenant, such as your own dashboards and visualizations. Once you have set the roles, you can also do role mappings on Open Distro for Elasticsearch. So in this demo, I have set Carl Meadows, me, as the ops role, and Andy Gutman's as the sales role. And I've given both of these roles access as Kibana users. Additionally, for Gutman's, I have given him the Kibana read-only role, which means he will only be able to see the dashboards feature and only his dashboards when he logs in. So now, as I log in as Carl Med, I only see my dashboard with my information. I don't see any of the indexes about sales or about the security workload. I can click on the dashboard and see the data that is relevant to me and that I have access to. Similarly, if the sales manager, Andy, logs into the same cluster, he just sees a sales dashboard. With the read-only role, Andy has no access to perform any advanced features in Kibana. So this built-in security capability is extremely powerful and useful for Elasticsearch users. Because one of the common usage patterns for Elasticsearch is where a lot of teams stream data into a single Elasticsearch cluster. Prior to Open Distro, there was no out-of-the-box solution available that would allow these teams to see only the data and dashboards relevant to them. And that can be a huge issue, especially when you're running any sensitive workloads. Another feature that Open Distro offers out-of-the-box is SQL. Elasticsearch queries are written in JSON. And while JSON is very powerful, it's not exactly human readable. 
and there's lots of users out there that are very proficient and comfortable using SQL. Either using the API or the JDBC driver that we ship with OpenDistro, you can write SQL statements to get data from Elasticsearch. You can even use the DevTools interface in Kibana. So in this case, I've got a simple OpenDistro SQL call against my logs where the response is not 200. I can run this query in SQL and get JSON back. I can also get it in the CSV or tabular format that most SQL users are used to. Also, I can run the same query, pass an explain call to it, and see what the query would look like in JSON. As you can see with SQL, you can write queries in a few lines that would require dozens of lines of code with JSON. Having SQL support allows SQL users to get all the power of Elasticsearch without having to learn new skills or a language. Open source Elasticsearch has no built-in alerting capability, which means you have to use an external tool if you want to set up an alert on your data, leading to unnecessary complexity. So, as part of Open Distro for Elasticsearch, we offer out-of-the-box alerting, which the Elasticsearch users will find very useful. You can access it via the alerting tab here, where you can see the dashboard with all your open alerts. With alerting, you can set up monitors and customize triggers and receive notifications. In this case, I've set up a monitor for no sales transactions. Once you click on it, you can see, for example, there are quite a few red stretches, which indicate there were no sales transactions during that five minute period. I can also see the period where we had some sales transactions, as indicated by the green. In this case, I've defined the monitor to be a visual graph, and I have set the monitor condition as when to count these documents over the last five minutes. And then I can set up multiple triggers on that, like no sales transactions. I can also define the monitor using more complex things, such as an extraction query. I could paste any sort of JSON in here and use much more complicated and sophisticated queries for more nuanced conditional alerting. For example, no sales transactions within a specific time period for a specific geography. With Open Distro, you can then send these alert notifications out on a webhook or Slack, and we're working on more such integrations. As Elasticsearch users, you all probably know it is really hard to find bottlenecks in Elasticsearch. It's a very complex system, and the tools that come out of the box aren't sufficient to actually identify what's going on within Elasticsearch. So we have built in-house a tool called Performance Analyzer that we offer as part of Open Distro for Elasticsearch. This tool allows you to query across the operating system and Elasticsearch, and it runs outside of the JVM and has its own endpoint. So with Performance Analyzer, I can not only query what my JVM pressure is, but what is my JVM pressure by workload, and what is my CPU pressure by shard, or how is the network interacting with Elasticsearch. This allows you to find the bottlenecks across your entire stack and not just the application. To demonstrate that, we've also built a CLI tool called PerfTop. It comes with four customizable dashboards. For example, here you can see the cluster level workloads, your operations by core, how your cores are being utilized, throughput, network analysis, and more. This allows you to get insights into how your Elasticsearch cluster is performing, identify the bottlenecks, and resolve them very quickly. To continue open source innovation on Elasticsearch, we have open sourced all of these features. But this is just the beginning, and we are excited to see the innovative and powerful features that the community will build on Open Distro for Elasticsearch. And we welcome your feedback and contributions. We look forward to hearing from you. For more information, please visit our website.